That's a big fish. Captain, you tell me what you want to do. Okay, ready? He's going to hit him. Get the gaff feet. Throws okay. the harpoon, hits it, and the fish freaks out, takes off. Just let it go, let, let it go, go, let it go, let it go. Look out, look out, watch your feet. Oh! Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. My guests are coming down. We're getting ready to go sword fishing with Captain Brand Muller at Hawks K. The couple I chose for this specific adventure, name is Zach and Vani. He has a very big social media following. It's called Catch Em All Fishing. He's very funny very animated, loves fishing. Oh my gosh. As soon as we were walking from the dock just to come meet everyone, for me it was just pure excitement. <laughs> Catch him all day. Oh man, my daughter was teaching me the dab yesterday. And she goes, Dad, you can like multi-dab and just go like this. <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was more like meeting up with friends rather than, oh, exactly. we're going on TV shows and just having a good time out <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, all day, all, all day. day. This is Brandon, by the way. My good buddy, Captain Brandon Muller, is the man when it comes to sword fishing. When we fish with Brandon, it's usually a little bit of a meat fest. This time, we decided that we're gonna maybe take a little easy. Maybe we'll just take a little bit <laughs> from Mother Ocean, you know? <laughs> Look at Brandon. <laughs> you know, like, no. You can't show weakness. <laughs> I know. And I called him, I said, Brandon, can you take a sword fishing? He said, Peter, I'm on it, come on down. So what do we got going on, Brandon? What are we gonna start with? Well, I, I think we should definitely start with the sword fishing. I was super excited. There was so much knowledge on the boat, it was amazing. Yeah, you're gonna want that thing down here, probably on your thighs. Yeah, you wanna go yeah. low. When you fish with Brandon, you better put your fighting belt on and measure it up because you're gonna get a bite, for sure. Right between 60 and 90 degrees. How's the speed? Good. All right, we are dropping, folks. Sure enough, that's a that's a bite. Yeah, you got yeah. a nibble. First drop, five minutes. Like, we get the like bite. The, the subtlest little thing you've ever seen. Tight. We're tight. You never know when you're sword fishing how big the fish is going to be. So it's always exciting. This is your first sword fish, right? Absolutely. Our goal. First billfish. We've been, oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. First sword fish, first billfish. It was just amazing. You come over here and help him get clipped in. OK. I don't really care to fish with electric yes. reels. OK, push in. OK. Turn the handle. But the nice thing is these reels are also hand crank. OK, you start cranking while you're going in. So you can actually start the fish with the electric and then finish it by hand. And that's what we chose to do. Get this other clip on. Yep. You're doing it! Oh, yeah! You're doing it! <laughs> You're doing it! Woo! I was so excited. Then I start feeling the power. You know, that, that energy is just amazing. There is absolutely nothing better than getting hooked up to something that really pulls back. I'm coming forward. You're all good. Stay tight. He's hand cranking a swordfish, fighting this thing like a champ. This is a major battle. OK, follow your fish. Careful. Oh, 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 oh. Keep him out of the motors. He's under the boat. Here, come, you gotta come all the way around, dude. We're good, you're we're good. good. Okay. We're good, we're good. Woo! He's gonna scope up, keep tight, stay tight. And all of a sudden, you start to see color. Oh, there oh, he is, oh, surface, surface, surface. Woo! Oh, man, he's gorgeous. I was amazed at how beautiful those swordfish were. Like, it's crazy. Fish is lit up, man. That fish is lit. <laughs> so he's fighting this fish. He's dripping sweat. And he's got a substantial fish on the end of the line. Holy excitement. The fish is down there, kind of shining, going sideways. Keep spinning. Keep spinning harder. Yeah, he's going. He's right under up. the boat. Do we want to harvest this fish? It's up to you, my friend. I think we should. Yeah, you feeling it? Thanks for the whole crew. Keep all right. Going. He wants to keep the fish. I said, that's your choice. I love it. Sustainable fishery. We're all about it. I'm all about catch and release, everything, but well, sometimes you got to get a sandwich. He's so lit up. He is so lit up, Bonnie. He's beautiful. He's so cute. He was doing an amazing job cranking this fish in, and this fish was pinwheeling super hard doing these giant 360s. Keep spinning, spin, spin, spin. Merry-go-round. I must have spun around like 20 times <laughs> trying to get this fish to the boat. It was just so much fun. <laughs> Look at that sword. Get a little cranks now if you can. Just a little pump. There you go. Woo! We got a spinner, huh? Yeah, he's definitely wanting our motors there. Keep going. He's still swimming at the props. But yeah, that fish did not want to come up. <laughs> no. Captain backwards high five. High five. <laughs> you came down to Hawks K with Captain Brandon Muller. First one. First billfish. First billfish I've seen. So I'm seeing that thing come up and I'm like, this is game time right now. It's right here at the boat. We can do this. Come up, come up. Try and bend that rod down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Now lift slow. Oh, yeah. 
stick them, Pete. Yeah, stick them. <laughs> oh, yeah. The celebration erupted. High five. five. Good job. <laughs> good job. Good job, man. Nice job. Look at that. Sick. Look how pretty he is. Oh, my goodness. I was amazed at how beautiful those swordfish were. Like, purple and opal is crazy. You did it, man. Dude, sick. And Zach was just absolutely beside himself with excitement. Woo! <laughs> I really wanted Vani to be able to connect with a sword, so all of a sudden, you know, we get this second bite. Oh, nice, there he is. Oh, nice thump, right? Yeah, yeah it was a thump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're tight. We're tight. I think when it was my turn, I was definitely in the mix of nervous and so, so, so excited. Round two. She harnesses up, she gets in there, we remove the electric. Ready? Go. She starts fighting this sword, and we could tell it was a little bigger. You're nice fish. You're doing great. She's never caught anything near this size, and she cranked that thing like a champ. I see color. We got color. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So I was just kind of like doing my thing, doing my thing, and I forgot about it being tough. Oh, it's a big one. Oh Look at him. My. Look at him here. And then when I heard how big it was, I was even more <laughs> excited. I was like, wow. Brandon, he's nice, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. You know, Brandon wanted to harvest this fish for himself. You know, Peter, do you mind? I said, it's fine, dude. You're the captain. You tell me what you want to do. Okay, ready? He's going to hit him. Get the gaff, Pete. Throws okay. the harpoon, hits it, and the fish freaks out and takes off. Come, Come up here. Corner. Where is he? OK. And we've got to clear this line really fast. So she's holding on. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep cranking if you can. This fish starts coming to the surface. It's a big fish. He's hot, dude. He's a hot fish. Come, okay, Pete, get ready. But there was some chaos. Just let it go, let, let it go, go, let, let it go. go, let it go. Look out, look out, watch your feet. Keep whining, keep whining. Wind them up. Keep whining. Want to back up, Brandon? Yeah, back up. So I'm trying to back away. Easy, easy, easy. He's coming to the back of the boat. Brandon's up on the bow. Keep whining when you can. He's turning hard right. Watch out, turn the boat, turn the boat. Peter can't hear what Brandon's saying at the front of the boat. Keep, keep coming, keep coming, he's up here. They're very unpredictable, so you gotta be sure to keep the props away from them. Just turn your bow that way. I mean, the excitement level is through the roof. It's very dangerous. Okay, easy, easy, easy. There's unpredictability, so we have to stay calm and make sure that everyone's safe, everyone comes home alive. Okay, neutral? Neutral. Can I help you? Can I cut something? No, just get your gaff. I got my gaff. Come on up here. I just hate to leave the wheel, bro. I can gaff him. All right. Talk to me. You want me to turn right or back up? Reverse. Where do you want me to gaff him, bro? Here, come on the other side of me. We finally get Vonnie's fish to the boat. Hit him, hit him, hit him. How's that for a fish, Vonnie? And we wound up keeping this fish, which happened to be 100 pounds bigger than the fish we had just caught. How do you feel? Strong. You feel <laughs> I feel strong. <laughs> this fish was bigger, Vanya. <laughs> Whose heart is bigger? <laughs> That's funny. Mine. What a team. What a team. I ate my Wheaties. <laughs> when you do two drops and you get two swords and the bite's that hot, you gotta drop again. You're tight, aren't you? It's on. Game time. <laughs> this is the best sword fishing day ever. Zach gets on the fish. You keep whining if you can. This fish was pulling like a freight train. Oh, yeah. Crackling, crackling. Dragon, dragon, dragon. That thing was taking drag, going back and forth. That one had attitude. This is the lunker. I wanted to catch on back to billfish. This fish was all over the charts. I knew we had a hot fish on. Scoping up. Coming up to jump. Gonna launch right here. Oh! oh <laughs> oh my God! That was the sickest moment of all time. To see that huge sword come out of the water and half of its body, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you don't see that every day. A swordfish jumping offshore, you're about to bring it to the boat. That's like the ultimate. Crank down, you're gonna gain right here. He gets his fish closer, oh, there he is. We got color right here. He's circling, I'm just gonna stay right here, okay? Okay. Gets this fish coming to the boat. Coming this way, coming at us. He's gonna be coming up over here. I'm bringing the leader in. All of a sudden, I see the fish kind of coming up. Dude! <laughs> oh my God! Good what? job, man. <laughs> Zach, is this your uh, biggest fish? By far. <laughs> All purple and glimmering. I was like, yeah! Yeah, yeah, it was like. <laughs> I'm excited. It was better than any amusement park ride. Guys, we're gonna release this fish, right? You know, after you've caught two swords, you really don't need a third. So we decided to release this sword. Okay, we're gonna cut him. We're gonna cut him loose. Oh, yeah. There you go. 
<laughs> awesome. Unbelievable. Perfect release. Dude! Yeah. Great job, great job, great job. Great job, guys. When you're down in the Florida Keys, one of the most popular things to do is fish, and the other one is to lobster. I've always wanted to go. So to have a teacher like Peter Miller, I was like, oh my gosh, it doesn't get better than this. So I was like, it's a sign, I must go lobstering. Lobstering down the Florida Keys is second to none. And I knew we can get on it because Brandon shared one of his bots with us. Now the neat thing about this out here, it's limestone bed. It's the only structure around. So when you're down there looking in that hole, you'll see all sorts of tropical fish. And it's only seven feet deep. Yep. You had some holes, some limestone, some rocks, and they were just loaded up all around in there. And right away, I look over and Zach's got one in his net. Nice. We were pulling them up. I was so in awe, I forgot that I was supposed to be catching and I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to run about 21.5 miles to the Marathon Humps from uh, Hawks Cay here. Go catch some tuna so with our new jigs. We come down to Hawks Cay in the Florida Keys. We had to get tuna, we had to get mahi. It's just like part of the deal. You guys ready? I'm Let's ready. Do it. All right, here we go. The run to the humps, it's like so far, and you know it's gonna be worth it. No, we got my Jimmy good. jigs. That's a neat looking one. Different, right? Yeah. yeah. The marathon humps are undersea mountains. The current rushes around the sides of it. So you'll see like slick, calm water, and then you see really rough water on either side. And you drop these jigs down, and the tuna just can't resist. Yes. <laughs> come on, baby, come to Papa. Oh, I see him now. Skipjack? Yeah. Had a great time, got this fish to the boat, and it was Zach's turn. Oh, I got one. He's hooked up. How's he feel? Probably your Skippy's brother. <laughs> I hope it's a tuna. I'm hoping that it's a blackfin because we only ever caught one. You're a man handling that fish. I love this thing. Absolutely. It's taking you down just straight solid muscle. Here it comes. Blackfin? Yeah, it is. Woo! Yes! Congratulations, <laughs> man. Good Woo. job, hon. I was immediately thinking dinner. I can't lie. I feel like I got a nice little workout, blackfin tuna workout. Got the protein on deck, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the protein. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, hooked up? Yeah. Get him, get him. Oh, he's got him. I see him. Is it a tuna? It's a tuna. Oh, you got a tuna. Nice oh, one on the Jimmy jig. Get it, girl. That's oh, a big yeah. tuna. That's what you got. Yeah. <laughs> I see the color. Yep. Yeah. Nice skippy, too. That's yeah. a lunker. We got a screamer. Double header. Grab him, Pete. Nice one. Yeah! All day. <laughs> nice. Good job. Thanks. Slimer. Thank yeah. <laughs> yeah. We caught all the tuna on the hump. So we decided to run in, but you got 22, 24 miles to get back to Hawks K. You saw that 40 foot bamboo to the left. That's a nice log with rope and debris and tons of bait on it. Boom. Dolphin comes out of nowhere. You didn't even see any color in the water. Out of nowhere, yeah. boom. Samahi. Yes. Oh. Mahi on top water. That's how we do it. He jumped like four or five times. Beautiful jumps. He's coming up. Woo! Nice fish, though, huh? Sure is. Is this fish kidding me? Jumping out of his mind. He's like, oh, I'm on Bass the Billfish. Let me jump in front of the camera like as many times as possible because I know I'm going in the cooler. I want to go out strong. He is a showboater. All right, not a bad mahi. No mahi's a bad mahi, Pete. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. We got that one in the boat, so we keep moving. Boom. That's another log. Hey, we got a big log at 10 o'clock here. We just spotted on the way in again. We go over there and throw some baits on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got him on. Hooked up. Here, baby. Re take, 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 take. take the rod. Take the rod, Mahi. He's like, no, it's OK. I'm oh like, take God, the rod. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Woo. Oh my goodness, his color was so beautiful. Nice job, everybody. Oh, hey, hey. Yellows and greens. And the, yeah, especially the greens. I was like, oh man, he's jumping. He really is jumping. I'm going to get the gaff. It's going to be great. Way to go, Miss Ketchup. 
Congratulations, first mahi? Yes, first yeah. mahi. Woo. So here she is out catching fantastic fish, great table fare. Let's walk them up to the Yeti. Hard fighters, big acrobatic jumpers. It was amazing and she was very excited about it. Yeah, good job, good job. I was probably more excited on the inside, like dancing around, having a good time than, mm -hmm. than I showed, but. Because you're concentrating on the fish. Yeah, really. because I had to concentrate. Mm -hmm. Aww. <laughs> One of the great things about being down at Hawks K is they have a brand new restaurant called Angler and Ale, and they do a hook and cook dinner. How you doing, I'm Peter? I dropped off the fish at the front counter. We had swordfish, tuna, and mahi, like the best of the best of the best. Now I gotta find my guests. I wonder where they are. Hey, you two lovebirds. Well, hello, beautiful. Wow, isn't this nice? I know. We enjoyed ourselves, definitely. Yeah, that was and a great stay down here. Right, and the non stop after. I was trying to make you guys laugh, but you guys were like, <laughs> <laughs> so we went over to our table, and within minutes, we had the most amazing meal delivered to us. How you doing, folks? How you doing this evening? My name is Joe. Hi, hey, Joe. Hi. And the chef came out there and told us what the dish was. Today we are featuring a pan-seared tuna, and we have a chimichurri sauce, and it has a bed of uh, rice and beans. The food was absolutely amazing. It was crazy. I think it was prepared so, so well, yeah. you know? Cheers, guys. Cheers. We had an amazing time. Three swords, multiple tunas, mahi, bonitas, skipjacks, and don't forget lobstering. We did it all. Yeah, we're all best friends now. We were hugging and dabbing the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a show. It was like we all just met up and had a great time. Definitely epic. I think that's the best word for when you do things for the first time, and yeah. it lands amazing. Yeah, there is no miss. There is all just home runs. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's home cool. run dab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catch them all. Catch them all fishing, YouTube and Instagram. You like this song, right? That light and calm. Mm.